Oh, yeah. Oh, guys, it's just uh, Base Massacre here. Yeah, you guys probably know I am a, uh, uh, most of y'all uh, welcome moves it, you know. But now, uh, I got a little confession to make. Uh, I am wrong. I'm also a severe weather spotter. Since I'm on YouTube, I've been found a guy that, uh, that likes some severe weather as I do. He's also a brony, so, um, we're, we're kind of, we're kind of friends, so we like weather, and, um, so, um, if you want to, uh, I subscribe to him, and like I said, I, I will leave another video if he subscribes me back, but anyway, now, I got me, I'm on a website called NWS Enhanced Giga Display 34.5.5, .5. and, uh, what I'm showing you guys here for you guys, there are kind of some dangerous, um, there's kind of a wool um, thing I want to let you guys know. Okay, so like I said, later on tonight, I will maybe get some AS works later on tonight. Um, I got my free, uh, freeware radios hooked up. Got one channel set for Charleston, West Virginia. Um, that channel there, what they do is they issue AS works for flash flood washers if it comes in that area. I live in Pikeville, Kentucky, and that's in the east near the Virginia border. Um, the thing is, the National Weather Service in Jackson, um, the weather office called JKL, um, do not send out alerts for fresh flood washes. Um, that's the weirdest thing since I've been hearing that they are switching the boxes and they're having new voices coming pretty soon. So, I do not like new voices at all. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I know I'm wearing a spotter, but I just don't like them at all. But as long as I get my alerts, I'm fine. Um, what I want to show you guys here is that, um, over here, um, in the green here, this is for, um, West Virginia, uh, this is a, uh, flash flood watch, and what I want to tell you guys is that, um, uh, I'm not really under the flash flood watch, um, not right now anyway, um, I'm fine for right now. But I got my phone ready just in case I get the alert, and I'll show you, I'll be posting these links down in, in the description be well when I upload these. Now, um, for you guys in St. Louis, uh, you guys got some fresh flood warnings. Um, how this happened was, um, earlier tonight, there was some storms that first started off, uh, where we have some warm temperatures that's been coming in in the St. Louis. Um, it went like in the 60s a day here in Pikeville. So that was pretty good. I enjoyed it. But too bad, snow's gonna be coming back. Cold weather and snow's gonna be coming back on Wednesday here in Kentucky. I hate snow. But anyway, guys, um, what happened when scorns came through when uh, these scorns were moving a little bit slower as I thought they were? There was a couple of severe firestorm warnings that was in that storm. It was time I checked. But now, uh, when the storm got way too, um, uh, too slow and too heavy, uh, there was kind of some fresh flood warnings that got issued for um, St. Louis. Uh, I'll go ahead and I'll show you guys that right now. What looks like now. Um, this is what looks like now. Like I said, if I was in this area, I'm hoping everybody um, is alright. I'm hoping that the water will die down pretty soon. Um, I Mostly, if I was in this area, I would feel bad because I quite get the safe getting time. Uh, kind of like the kids here, you can uh, share and click this to your friends on social media, on Facebook and Twitter. Um, I advise you guys to be in this area. I advise you to share this to your friends immediately. It's always important to have a nowhere radio um, when stuff like this happens. Um, so if I was in this area, I would post this to my friends if I was in the area. But I only post things that get goes in my area, so if I get things that goes on my area, I post them and share it to my friends just to let them know. Now, you can also go to um, the Wild Kicks, and what the Wild Kicks does, it shows you the information that's with the storm. Um, and all that. Okay, so it's kind of show you the next thing of how to get your works really easy. Let's go ahead and get off of this, and let's go back to our... This is also got the uh, National Weather Service hazard map. I go for this as well, get my alerts. But, um, here's something you guys might like. Because it's called IEM Box. Um, all you do is go in your um, Google and copy IEM Box. 
and there you go, and you just put in your um, National Weather Service office that's located in your area. And what they do is they send alerts out. And what it does is when you get in alert, this little button here you see, it does that when you get in alert, and it tells you what issues. And when it's this issue on this little um, website here, it will be issued on this before it comes out on where radio. And that's why I'm always scheduled for my EAS forwards. So I'll be posting this in the link um, in the description down below as well. If you guys find this video helpful, um, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, may, uh, you can also add um, different kind of counties. I got Jackson, Charleston, Louisville, and Pulaski County, Fort Kentucky, the Monger, I'm easy. Just in case we get some watches and some severe storms. There's one more thing you guys might like. Um, I also made a channel, a uh, YouTube playlist for EAS works. So go in there and follow it. I don't got anything on it right now. But I'll be scanning up tonight. If I get anything, I will record it and post it on YouTube. Okay, guys, that's all I got to say for today, uh, for tonight. I want to wish you guys a happy good night. And uh, thank you guys for watching.